There we go. What's up, guys? As you just saw in that short clip, we did end up getting the OTS Dark Matter. Now, I did get a Dark Matter a lot later than I was planning on, but the new Zombies map is a lot of fun, and I've just been sucked into Zombies right now. But we, we did end up coming back to multiplayer and getting it done. Now, this video is a little different from the recent Dark Matter videos I've been doing. I don't have my first reactions to it. I, I ended up using it first on stream. This is because when I was trying to level the weapon up in Zombies, I was using it to get Dark Aether. Uh, there's a weapon level cap like once you reach a certain round you get like little to no xp for the weapon so we had to go into multiplayer use it for a few games and get the levels all the way up so that way we could unlock dark aether on it but now we have both mastery camos for it overall my opinion on the gun uh it's it's pretty like mid it, it's very middle of the ground i think definitely the lc10 and the ak-74u do better than it. it it could be better than some other smgs but overall it's pretty like middle of the ground it doesn't really impress me too much i mainly play hardcore when i'm grinding camos and this thing was still hit markering even when i went and leveled it all the way up and got the task force barrel at at certain ranges it was still hit markering but overall it's 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 decent it's nothing to write home about but anyways this is what it looks like with the gold camo i also i still don't even have it unlocked i'm using the, the blueprint for it so it's it's a little gonna look a little different than it would base weapon but i don't want to go through the challenge and getting it so this is what gold looks like on it it's pretty decent the coverage is all right uh there's a lot of open space on it diamond looks really nice diamond always looks good on like every weapon they have the coverage down for diamond in dark matter it's it's pretty it's pretty decent it goes all all down the barrel and for some weapons that has a better chance of the dark matter turning that light blue which is pretty cool uh this gun is one of those weapons but let's go ahead hop into a game i'm gonna use it in core for the first time and we'll see how it does there so i'm gonna go with the task force barrel i'll keep the ember sighting point the 32 fast mag and the elastic wrap this is more of a running gun class mainly because i was working on those point blanks but let's go see how it does in core and i guess we'll play on the new map rush now this is what it looks like with dark matter in game it actually looks pretty nice a lot better than it looks in the gunsmith so let's go see how this thing does in core. Also, Rush is back for the first time in I don't even know when. But it's pretty decent. The map looks really good. Ooh, this gun's also doing pretty well too. But honestly, uh, Rush is not the best for grinding camos. Uh, I've been... Th this grind hurt a little bit without Nuketown. It made it definitely a lot tougher when it's nuke jacked and you have to like back out of hijack games and all that because hijacked is just you know map looks good it's not that fun to play on sometimes but i have been playing a little bit of rush it's you know it's it's nice and nostalgic it's a it's a good looking map but overall nothing too crazy i also did a lot of my camo grinding for this on hardcore face off that seemed to be doing the trick for mostly everything. I think the only thing I was kind of struggling in was uh, long shots. So I would play some nuke jacked, trying to get nuke town to get those. But overall, I think most things can be done and just face off. Ooh, this gun might be better in core than it is in hardcore. There we go. Actually, I, I should have just grinded this in core. This is so weird. I've never seen a gun that does better in core than hardcore. Usually hardcore, it's a one shot kill. With most guns, faster kills, faster camos, you know, all that. But this seems to be shredding in core. But overall, uh, my opinion on this new update, I think it's really good, but for zombies. They got the new map, they got the new wonder weapon, there's a whole new easter egg to complete. There's definitely way more stuff going on in zombies than there is in multiplayer. Like Rush, Rush is fun, but it's something we've seen before, and it's nothing too groundbreaking. But they did add a nuke score streak. It's the first time a nuke has been in a Black Ops game which is cool. I, I like that they added it, but it doesn't end the game. It'll just kill every player on the map. And then it's just like, okay, keep going. Uh, I, I, I would like to attempt to go for it, but I feel like I just pull my hair out. I, I mainly just go for camo. So I, I don't really try to go for really high streaks. So I think it would just frustrate me uh, to no end to try to go for a nuke, especially in this game. I kind of feel like multiplayer has fallen way, way off since the release of this game. Like it, there's still stuff to do, but I mainly play to get camos and I am now out of camos in this game. I have every single weapon dark matter. So there's not much for me to, to come back and do unless they, they add a fun mode. Oh, well, let's sneak up on this guy over here. Oh, he's already dead. I got his friend. He's got another one and we missed all those shots. Who got the sun off? Get over here. Wait. Oh, I tried a 360 tomahawk him. I got a little ambitious. But uh, one thing I will say about this gun, the iron sights are super clean. They're really nice. There, there, there's a few guns that you kind of need to use like an optic on just because the iron sights are just so trash. This gun, don't really need one. 
Let's go. Got a little range on that one. Ooh, and we lost that one. We went 15 and 19. Not a good score line at all. But we did end up getting a dark matter. That's all that matters. Overall, multiplayer didn't really get too much love this update. Uh, I can't really find myself coming back to play it without any camos or something to work towards. But on the other hand, zombies got a lot of new stuff. I have a few videos coming out soon for that. So be on the lookout. And I think I've caught the zombies bug. I, I The whole time I've been playing multiplayer, I'm like, man, I, re I really want to be playing zombies. So, so be on the lookout for all the zombies content. I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you guys like it, leave a like on it. You didn't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.